Oh, thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. What are you doing with your live streams? Are you just letting them play out? Are you reposting them? Do you send them somewhere else like Instagram or Facebook? Send them to your brother? Do you send them to your nan? Do you send them to your friends? Do you pack everything away? Do you go and have a cup of tea? Do you go and watch some Netflix? Think about the performance you've just done. You've done the performance of your life. People love it. People love the covers, the originals. They want to hear it again. Well, today I'm going to show you how you can get that done and capitalize on that live stream using DistroKid. Hey guys, what's going on? It's JP. Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before and you want to learn all about music tech and looping, then start now by clicking the subscribe button, hit that bell, and you won't miss anything. So the first thing we need to do is grab the performance of the live stream, whether that's done directly on the phone or whether you've done it through OBS or whether you've done it through Restream or Caster.io or any of these services. Let me show you how we can grab it from somewhere like OBS. Now, OBS is really clever because if you're using a phone and you're plugging it into OBS, point it over there because that's where my computer is. One thing OBS does is it also records the performance locally on the hard drive. What we can then do is grab that live stream footage and then when we look at the audio, we're going to have a look at where the songs were performed. So what we're going to do is we're going to clip and trim the audio so it's just the performances without the chatting in between. So you join us here on OBS and what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you a couple of settings first of all before we start streaming and then you can then grab that audio from the stream and then start trimming it down so you've got your songs. First of all we're going to go down over to here which is where the settings are here. So you've got settings. Now when you click start streaming it automatically does start recording. That's as default. You can turn that off. I wouldn't recommend to do that. I'd say just leave it on. But if you go to settings and then I'm just going to bring this down here so we can have a look. And we're going to go to where it says output. And you'll see here it says the video bitrate for streaming. Have a look under here, recording, which basically I've got a path there. So it's going to record to there. Now, the thing is the recording quality is the same as the stream, or you can actually make it a lot higher. But be aware, of course, it's tremendously large file sizes. And then also the recording format. Now, it's normally at MKV as standard. I would really recommend going MP4. The reason is other video software recognizes MP4 a lot more than it does MKV. So change it over to MP4 and then click OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick test. I'm not going to do a live stream, I'm just going to do recording and then it should record that file into where we've said. We're going to grab that and then strip it, the video out of it so we've just got the audio. Let's click that. Hi, welcome to the channel. This is a recording where I'd normally be playing the guitar with an audio interface plugged in and everything. That's why we've got all these things at the bottom here. Uh, but I haven't got that today. We've just got the microphone of the iMac. And I'm going to stop recording now so we can grab that audio. And this would pretend, pretend that this is a song. I've played the song now, so I'm going to stop recording. Okay, so let's go and find that piece of footage. So we found our footage, it's under movies, and there it is, that's fine, no problem at all. So the nice, quick and easy way to open this up and extract the audio from a free point of view on a Mac is using iMovie. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch iMovie now. iMovie is completely free with all Macs, even the iPad and the iPhone. Make sure you've got a blank project open. If you haven't, all you need to do is go there and then name it and you can get a new project. And then all we do is we drag that into the timeline. So we're going to drag that one into the timeline now. So now it's on the timeline, the great thing about this is you can see here, we can see the audio as well as the video. Hi. So we need to trim it at the beginning there. So let's just grab that and just trim it to the, there. Lovely. And then find out the point where we're going to stop it. Hi, welcome to the channel. This is a recording where I'd normally... Cool, that's actually fine. The recording does actually go on a little bit further, but what we're going to do is we're just going to pull that to there. Lovely, and that's fine. So now what we need to do is we just need to export this out. The way we do this is top right hand corner, we can export there, and you can see you can export to all different places. We're just gonna go to export file, and then all we need to do is just pick audio only. Now, what I would suggest we do is we pick WAV. The reason for this is the best format, the best quality for DistroKid. This is where I give it a name. So this is our test for DistroKid. Click next, and then where are we going to put it? So at the moment, I'm just going to put it on a desktop, 
just so we can see it and we go save. So in my folders here on my desktop, I'm under music, you will see here, there is a test for distrokid.wav. So now in Finder, we're on my desktop, I've got lots of screen recordings. Uh, we've got this one, which is test for distrokid.wav. Let's have a quick Hi, look. Welcome to the channel. This is a recording where I'd normally be playing the guitar with an audio interface. And then that is now ready to upload to DistroKid. So once you have your file, you just click the lovely upload button on distrokid.com once you've signed in. And you can be putting this onto all these different sites and load loads more. And then it's one song and you can add it as a band name. You could grab an album art cover. Maybe you could get a snapshot from the live stream. And then you can start adding it in straight away. Now let's say you created quite a few of these from a couple of different live streams. Then obviously you've got an album of things waiting. So you can, if you want to, go up to 35 songs per album. So you can have 35 different tracks. You could maybe have a live stream of uh, eat one for each month. Maybe you've got one from uh, special events. You've got loads of available options open to you. The reason why our sponsor today is so valuable is because they have one price per year and you can upload as many songs as you like. So you could upload all your live stream songs. And here on the channel, District Kid has given us a code which I'm gonna put on the screen now, which gives you 7% off your first annual membership. District Kid is a distribution company, so you give your songs to them. You keep 100% of the royalties. And what they do is they push it out to all the online stores and streaming sites around the world. Let's just say you did a really good performance yesterday, and you did a really good performance the day before, you did a really good performance the day before that and they're all different songs from different places now you could either upload one song at a time that's perfectly fine or you could actually save them all for a month and then upload an album of live streams loads of people love live streams because they are in the moment but also people go that was a really good performance that's the best version i've ever heard you do I wanna hear that again. But how cool would it be if you could say to them after this live stream, it'll be available in the next couple of days on Spotify, on Apple Music, on Amazon, on Tidal, on Pandora, or any of the streaming sites that they choose to listen through. I remember going to a gig to see the Bare Naked Ladies and they were really ahead of their time for what they were doing. What they did was they recorded every single gig and actually said on stage, at the end of the gig, you'll be able to buy this gig on USB stick. This takes an element of that. So imagine you could turn around and say, this is the live stream from May. This is a live stream from July. This is a live stream from September. This is a live stream from December. This is all the Christmas tunes I did. And you can then upload these to DistroKid. This makes you rethink how you do your live streams. Maybe you could actually do a Christmas album uh, of live streams. Maybe you could do a summer one. Maybe you could do a lockdown 2021. If you're a live performer, whether you're a singer, a musician, a saxophonist, a bassist, a drummer, we're all turning to live streaming as a way to actually recuperate that kind of money we're missing from live gigging or performances. Certainly here in the UK, we can't play in a pub, can't play in a club at the moment, and it looks like that might be for a little while. So live streaming is a great way of doing that, but this is a great way, if you're gonna live stream anyway, of taking that live stream and doing something with it. DistroKid have a brilliant platform where where you can just upload as much as you like for one price per year, which is $19.99. Think about that for a minute. Under $20, now in the UK here, that's about 16 pounds, and I can upload over a thousand tracks, way over a thousand tracks. You can upload as much as you like. So all those live streams, those live performances, you can upload cover songs as well, and they have a process for that, which is really, really simple. They have a couple of different tiers, whether you're a single artist, which is $19.99, or whether you're a label, which is $79, and you can get 7% off no matter which tier you go for. The link is on the screen now, but it's also in the description box below. So give it a click and see if you can upload some of your live streams today. If you have found the content of this video useful, then please do give it a thumbs up. It really does help me and helps the channel grow. And it just tells the YouTube algorithm that you like it, and then it might send it out to more people. If you want to support me a little bit further, you can do. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com. All the links are in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.